<laughs> We're at the auction. We're getting chickens. <laughs> On this video, we're going to talk about chickens, how to clip their wings, and why we got chickens before moving into an RV lifestyle. It's crazy, I know. Bonus, if you stick around to the end, you'll see the livestock auction and all the cool animals they sell. These are the beautiful Colombian Cochin chickens. The term Colombian refers to the gorgeous feathered patterns around their neck. Similar to the Silky, the Colombian Cochin have feathers around their feet, which can get dirty easily, so it is important to wash them to avoid dirt accumulation and possible mite and pest buildup. The Cochin hen lays 150 to 180 eggs a year. So in this section, we're going to show you how to clip the wings of a chicken. Here we have the Astrolop Hen. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. All right, this is our beautiful Astrolop hen. She's got black legs. You gotta hold on to them. Make sure she doesn't run away. This is why we want to clip the wings. They will jump over the fence. What I like to do is to first feel the actual wing, the actual meat uh, or body part of the chicken. It comes right across here. Then there's this special layer of just lo the long feathers. That's what you want to cut off, just the long feathers. I would say go two or three fingers away from the ridge of the meat itself right here, the bone. You don't want to do them all in one go with the scissors. You want to do just a few feathers at a time. One method that has been proven to be wise is just clipping one wing and not the other because we're approaching cold winter here. So they, it will still help them restore their, um, their, their body heat. One, two, three, four, and again, this is where the meat ends, and that's how far away we have uh, from, from the actual body itself. So you wanna keep the fluffy stuff on them. These long, these long feathers are the ones that they use to fly. So that's what you wanna clip off so that they don't jump over your fence. Stay away from the actual body itself. I like to leave three little feathers on them. This is what the clipped wing will look like versus the full wing. Look at this gorgeous full wing. So in this case, we're gonna go ahead and leave one wing clipped. Yeah. Not both of them. That way it does the job at throwing off their balance when they try to fly. It does not affect the way they walk. Uh, it just simply makes it harder for them to actually fly the distance. So here we go, little friend, fly away. The last thing we want to talk about is why on earth did we buy some chickens before we moved into an RV? What do you say, Catalina? There is a delay in selling this house. And in the meantime, we wake up every morning, we look out our window and it's so empty back there in that backyard. Man, this I, yard is huge. I miss my chickens. I miss my chickens. Our children miss chickens. Uh, we used to have a whole backyard flock of chickens of all sorts and kinds. Yeah, chickens sold are... them, we sold every last one of them. And then we went through the motions of waking up every day and doing a bunch of work and, and it just felt empty, really. Not to mention all the leftovers that go to waste. Not to mention all those crazy spiders and bugs we've been finding every day. So we want chickens back in our life. I would say bug control, uh, support, emotional support. They're fun to look at. They bring you eggs. Um, it's the best thing in our life. Yeah. Like, we love chickens. 
uh, but we're gonna be moving into an RV, so we can't take the chickens with us. Although right? some people would argue and say we could, but we're not gonna try that. Mm -mm. Uh, I, I wish we could. So we have a friend who um, may just be able to store one of our vehicles for an extended period of time. And she declined a monetary payment, but she is a farmer. So we thought, what better gift than to give her some chickens? Absolutely, we totally trust her. I think she's gonna take care of them. We're just so. gonna have these chickens for a few days until the house closes and, and we leave. And so we'll give them to her. So, so technically we're holding them for a friend. Yeah. All right, without further ado. Oh, one more thing. Oh, wait, okay. Um, chicken math is real. We were gonna buy two chickens. <laughs> And, um, of course, we came home with five. Very normal thing. Yeah, yeah. No, again, for reals. Like, we were, we decided we were going to buy two chickens. Two. And we we came, did, we did. Two and then a few more to go with the two. So we ended up That's with five. chicken math. Yeah, hits everybody. Anyway, we love chickens. Last video we had about the uh, spider. We talked about how great chickens were. That very same night, we decided, man, let's go to the auction mm -hmm. and buy some chickens. So, spider did it. That was the yeah, one that drew the line. That's all we needed to do. Just one spider. Without further ado, we've got this uh, clips, these clips to show you about the awesome... Stand Ridge Auction in Hamlet, North Carolina. Our favorite place to hit the town on a Saturday night. Yeah. Check it out. So... <laughs> We're at the auction. We're getting chickens. I almost bid on a goat by accident, holding up the camera. <laughs> So all the chickens, all the chickens in those boxes, they are for sale. Thank <laughs> you. 
boiled egg. Forgot. Let's begin with the top box, which has three Colombian Cochins Trio, or it might be Colombian Cochins Trio. Not sure how to pronounce that. Pretty spectacular birdies. They started at twenty dollars, and luckily no one was biting, and the price went down to ten. No. Don't scare them. Bad girl. Be very quiet. Quiet. Oh, oh she's a looker. Girl. She looks beautiful. Oh, oh she's, she's so gentle. Oh, what a good looking girl you are. And so they're going to rest on your May head. I see that one, Remy? Oh. Don't fly off now. I love you. Oh. Make her fly off. Oh, they're so tiny. Oh, they're so sweet. Oh, is it a bantam? The boy's tail is even poofier. Look at that handful of feathers. <laughs> Be gentle, it's winter, they need their feathers. Winter feathers. Does he even have a spur? Mom, you see a spur? Oh. That's so I've never seen such a tame rooster come out of a box. Have you? Boop, boop, boop. Let's I see our open. black ladies. Are, I can open. And the black ones are black astrolog hens. Let's see the girls. No, Dad, what you do is you grab this part mm -hmm. and you bend it up. Like that. Oh. Black <laughs> astrolog <laughs> Classic. 